What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me and tuning in to every video that I post. You guys are awesome. Today is a very special day because it's a day that I've always dreamed of on my channel and reaching this milestone. This video is sponsored by Curology. Curology reached out to me and was like, hey, we love you. We want to work with you. And I was like, me? Me? Because you guys know that I always cared about skincare. I get my facials. I'm a black man in skincare. And then to be honest with you, I want to break down that barrier. My goal in skincare is to like allow men to feel comfortable having nice skin, taking care of their skin, making sure they're on top of the routines. So when Curology reached out to me, I knew this was good because I know guys oftentimes are like, uh, you know, skincare. Yeah, I use soap, and I'm like, no, love skincare, love your skin. What I love about Curology is that it's a three-step program. So you go onto the website, and they ask you a bunch of questions like, oh, do you have any type of skincare concerns, like unevenness, or bumps, or, you know, dark spots. And you select everything, they ask you your skin type, like if you're dry, combination, or oily. And then you provide three photos, you provide side profiles. Um, and then you provide a front profile. Then you send it off to your medical provider over at Curology and they custom make you a formula to combat your concerns. And boy, oh boy, it made my skin look beautiful, as you can tell. I love the formula. I love how simple it is. Like I said, it's three steps. A cleanser, a formula, and a moisturizer. It can't get no easier than that, guys. So you have no excuse not to have a skincare routine. You know I rock with brands that are quality, and I would never give you guys a product that I don't truly, truly believe in. So, again, from me to you for rocking with my channel and being here for my first sponsored video, for the first three people who sign up for Curology, I will be paying for your shipping and handling, which is $4.95. Um, not that bad. Like, you're getting a full new skincare routine that's really gonna work. Let me know in the comments below if you decide to use Curology. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right. <laughs> We're gonna do a little switcheroo. We're gonna do a review plus a mukbang. Just got two chicken sandwiches from McDonald's. I know, McDonald's, right? I may or may not have gotten a McFlurry too, but it's none of your business. Beyonce has released a song. <laughs> That's God. When Beyonce releases, you know I'm always gonna make a video. So, fair warning, because on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I said Beyonce is coming. Hour or two later, she came, dropped the song. I manifested this song, so everybody say thank you, Jabbar. <laughs> It's so nasty. I'm going back to the south. I'm going back, 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 back. With my roots, they want to down. With my own stream in a jail. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. We know Beyonce is ready to like the moon, the sun, goddesses, gods. Based off her performances, her photo shoots, post pregnancy, while she was pregnant. And she already did the tribute to Oshon. So her acknowledging that her ancestors, like her, the running joke with Beyonce is like talking about her ancestors, like that Creole voodoo. And for her to just acknowledge what we talk about as fans. <laughs> Beyonce swears she got hella kids, bro. She got three kids and don't know how to act. She swears she got a lot of kids, but then I'm thinking about two twins underneath the age of five, and then a grown girl who's eight, nine, Blue Ivy, queen. I'm sure that probably do feel like 50, 11 children. Oh, my, my broke business, let me go. She says she charges her crystals in a full moon. <sighs> my queen is so spiritual, my queen is so intact with around her surroundings and her energy and this is why she's the greatest. I charge my crystals in a full moon. What? Sing too. A lot of people are always like, I, I'm tired of Beyonce rapping trap songs. Like I want her to sing. Let's go back. 
I can tell that you're not listening to her music because Beyonce sings on most to all of her songs. Even the songs where she's rapping, rapping, Beyonce has these background vocals that are, like I have to stop the song, go back a little bit because I'm like, how the hell does she think to layer this, to harmonize with herself this way, the nuance, the blending, the like, oh, that's perfect to go right there. Like, Beyonce's a genius. And when you can talk more about Beyonce as a producer, Beyonce's nasty. She's filthy. And this record is black as hell. Like, it's just amazing to have the biggest star on the world, a black female artist, appreciate her blackness. Give her black audience something to look forward to, something to be proud of. I remember growing up and being like, ask, what's your nationality? What's your ethnicity? And people would just be like, black. And I know a lot of black kids used to be like, I'm black mixed with Indian, Native American, or Cherokee. And I'm just thinking like, you're black at the end of the day. And I'm not to excuse anybody else's other sides, but for black people, that was a form of, I don't want to just be black. That I don't know why that was as a kid. From my experience, I'm talking from my experience and the kids that I grew up around, I knew that was a thing to add in another ethnicity because you wasn't just okay with being black. And it's okay to be black. So I'm so glad Beyonce is Beyonce and she's given us something to celebrate our blackness on Juneteenth. She's amazing, bro. No one can tell me anything. When you talk about Beyonce, put some respect on her name when you're around me. You can hate her, but when you get around me, is serious talk. We talk is serious. Let's keep on going. Woo! I feel strong. I want to go to a protest. I want to go to a protest right now. Trust me, they're going to need an army. Rubber bullets bouncing off me. You know how cops been shooting black folks, the protesters, our allies, in the face. I saw a guy lose his eye. I saw the damage these rubber bullets is doing to people. Beyonce's talking about some these rubber bullets are gonna bounce right off of me. That's how strong we are. Our resilience. Like, I feel like a superhuman. Like, I feel like this belongs in Black Panther 2. Like, she might be, she might be going for it. She was like, here, I'm gonna release this song. This is what I'm gonna give you on an album for Black Panther 2 on the soundtrack. Beyonce might be, Beyonce's smart. <laughs> Beyonce's smart as hell. Let's keep on going. Let me read that back to you. Judging running through the house to my art, all black. Every artwork in her house is made by a black person. And if that is true, if we ever get pictures in, inside of Beyonce and Jay-Z's house, which I don't think we ever will, but we know Beyonce and Jay-Z owns black art. We saw that publicly they own and buy black art, but for every art piece portrait in your house to be black owned, black created, I love my king and queen. <laughs> First off, here Beyonce is singing, Triple Me. She's singing her ass off on these songs that I don't think y'all really listening, talking about she's not singing anymore. The girl is singing down. Says, need peace and reparation for my people, period. Beyonce says black people need reparations. So the government needs to cough up another stimulus check to all black people, need to give us some reparations. I think reparations for every black person in America gets like 300K. I think that's what the numbers came out to. I might be wrong on that, but I need peace. I need reparations for all my people. She says, fuck these laid edges. I'ma let it shrivel up. I'ma let it shrivel up. And because oftentimes laid edges is a European beauty standard to have straight hair or a little swoop. It's a neat hairstyle and black hair is wild, it's free, it's curly, it's kinky. It has character, it has development. It's healthy, it's beautiful. We don't need 
to put the, the, the gel on you know, every time. We don't need to put the got to, got to be glue on all the time. Fuck these laid edges, I'm gonna let it shrivel up. I don't know if I agree with her on this stuff, like just kidding. But fuck this fade and waves, I'm gonna let it dread all up. And you know I used to have hair. I used to love my hair. It's, it takes a lot of work to upkeep, but fuck cutting my hair down and brushing and I'm sick of this. I'm sick of just hair in general because it costs me a lot of money. But like, Beyonce is just saying, embrace your blackness. Embrace your wide nose. Embrace your black skin. Embrace your hair. Embrace, embrace, embrace. I don't think y'all heard her. My parade. Horns, the way this can open up a tour. Dixie produces with Beyonce, and Beyonce has worked with Derek Dixie a lot. She, Derek Dixie is phenomenal, a phenomenal human being, talent. He was behind Beachella. Ooh, he got an air, he got an air. Him and Beyonce are a deadly combo. But let's let's hear these horns right here, what I can think of opening up a tour. Stage lifting, stage lifting. Right? Bam! Light up! Beyonce can never do any wrong in my eyes. She's just perfect human being. She's the epitome of the perfect celebrity to me. She is the celebrities of all celebrities. You know what I mean? No, there's no celebrity that's not gonna be like, wow, Beyonce is here. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's in inspiring to have that much respect by so many of your peers, of your and in general public love you that much. Beyonce is what I aim to be like. Like when I make it, I wanna be so, it's a quote about Beyonce. And the quote is so good. Beyonce is hyper visible and simultaneously inaccessible. She's so seen and everyone wants a piece of her but you can't get to her. You're not gonna get an interview. You're not gonna get anything inside her life. You're gonna get what she shows you. And when she shows you something, it's going to be everywhere, which makes her so visible. And her beauty, of course, makes her stand out. Her talent, her wealth. She has a privilege, but her privilege is so used properly. She doesn't broadcast all the charity work she does, which by the way, Streaming by this song because it was going to black small businesses around the country, maybe around the world. But Beyonce is just everything to me. Y'all know this. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for rocking with this video. And once again, thank you so much to Purology for sponsoring this video. <sighs> Life is good. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this song. And if you don't, let me know why. I see why it's funky. I see why you have to get into it, but the more I listen to it, the more I listen to these lyrics, the more empowered I feel, and the, I love it. I love the production of it. I love how black it is. And let me know, comments, and let's talk about it. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next video. Peace!